Okay, I think we're live. E. Hey. No, no. Donut. Donut. <laughs> mm, well, we're not dropping any frames. We're fine. E. <laughs> so many screenshots now. So many. We're only maybe like 40 something episodes in. God, we're gonna have so many. It's like we're 40 episodes in and I've got maybe like 3 gigabytes worth of screenshots. Oh my god, we're in hell. <laughs> Because children. <laughs> this is why I want to get another like two terabyte hard drive. E. It's gotten a lot cheaper nowadays. Mm hmm. God, back in the day. <laughs> we we hadn't even heard of a terabyte. <laughs> Seriously. What's a terabyte? What's a gigabyte? <laughs> <laughs> What's a gigabyte? Oh my god, I still remember my... Not the computer before this laptop, but my computer before that one. Two computers previous, uh, I had only like 75 gigabytes of space. It was really sad. <laughs> that was a fucking desktop. It was pathetic. <laughs> <sighs> I mean... Constantly deleting everything. Tear.
You don't clap. <laughs> <laughs> I got. <laughs> you gotta. <laughs> we proved ourselves we weren't crazy. It's canon. <laughs> <laughs> Flapping is canon. <laughs> Bonds beyond time canon, but that's good enough for me. <laughs> it's the 3D model, it's fine. body is hard to <laughs> finagle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so she got like little fins and stuff here, but I don't have a reference. So many tiny details. <laughs> I'll clean up later for killing him. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. series of screenshots I took. <laughs> Just, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Ending on this face. <laughs> Good. Tiny Oscar Pout is so good. Thank you. 
Kian, hey! <laughs> hey there! It's been a while. D. Thankfully, it's better. <laughs> it's been better. Um, <laughs> it's picked up again a little bit, but for the most part, it's nowhere near as stressful as it was like a couple months ago. <laughs> Sob. Uh, Yeah, uh, no, well, actually the con was pretty fine, um, nothing too crazy, but like, it was before that, like, the project I was on, um, you know, just being absolutely, ri like, ridiculous, basically. Stop. But that project is finally over, so I never have to think about it again. <laughs> Blessed freedom. Although a different happening happened at the con. <laughs> Lord, it's so terrible. Should I tell the story? I should. I'll tell the story. Um, oh, so uh, I don't know if you heard of there was some there was a decently large earthquake like a little ways inland in California um, I forget the exact location because of bad locations but it wasn't too far away from Los Angeles um, so this was directly during AX right um, so I was you know obviously for work I was staying there um, staying at a at a hotel and it's like a, it was a pretty like new hotel that was like weird because like the reception was on the top floor and so you had to take the ground elevator all the way up to like the 70th floor and then like, <laughs> um, and then from there you would take several other elevators down to like different strata of floors. I don't know! It's because it's weird? Because they want to be, like, <laughs> modern? I don't know. Either way, I hate it. You know, I have, like... <sighs> I have a huge... I have a huge fear of heights. Um, it, it's not as bad to... pretty bad, depending on the situation. <laughs> <sighs> Being in a very tall hotel... makes it look slightly worse. Um... But yeah, so it's like, literally, the other elevators that go to, like, the other floor areas don't go to the ground floor. So that's also something to keep in mind. But yeah, so it was, like, second day of con, my feet are dying, as usual, but, like, I was, like, prepared, because I, like, bought Epsom salt, and I was, like, you know, soaking them. I was getting ready to, like, yeah, I'm just gonna, like, soak them and go to sleep, and it'll be great. I'll be fine this year. <laughs> My feet won't want to feel like dying. And then the earthquake hits and I'm on... God, yeah. No, I hate... That's the... That's honestly the biggest thing that I hate about cons. It's like, sure God, there's a lot of... being on your feet forever is the worst. <laughs> sure there's a lot of dealing with, like random people and like you know just noise and bo and whatever but like just 
being on my feet is like the worst. If I were if I were able to sit like the whole time, like AX would be so much nicer, honestly. <laughs> but um but yeah, so anyway, I'm getting off topic. But the, the point is, is like, you know, I was getting ready for that. And so then, um, our room was on the 54th floor. My coworker, who I was staying with, was out eating um, with other friends. And, like, the earthquake hits. <sighs> and at first, it just kind of, like... It was this weird swaying feeling, and then it, it just like swayed even more, and it was like for a long time, um, like a good couple of minutes, it was just swaying, and like the building was creaking, it oddly, and you could look out the window, and of course because it's like fancy schmancy, the whole side of the you know to the outside window is just like the entire wall so you can just like clearly see out and how high you are and the other buildings nearby and that like that like scenery was also swaying <laughs> um so that was terrifying um and like I poked my head out and like a couple other people were like should we leave? are we okay? what's going on? um you know kind of like vaguely panicking um, and then, like, an intercom thing came on saying, like, please don't use the elevators, we're checking for structural integrity, blah blah blah. Um, so at this point, I'm like, I'm alone, I'm freaked out, I'm feeling that, like, you know, <laughs> the acrophobia, and I was like, I, c I can't really take the elevators because I'd have to take the elevators. Well, they, they said I couldn't use them, but also I'd have to take the elevator up to the 70th floor, and then go to the bottom, which is like, I absolutely don't want to be any higher than I already am. So, I I was oh. like, fuck it, I guess I'll use the emergency stairs. So I, like, jogged down 54 flights of stairs. <laughs> and, and by the time I got to the bottom, my legs were like spaghetti. Um, and then, like... And also just like, you know, windy staircases are maybe the worst thing, so like I was like decently not okay at that point. So I spent like a good hour outside just like collecting myself before I even dared going back inside the building. And like, you know, there wasn't any other like larger earthquake after that and it was fine, but I was like definitely shaken for <laughs> the rest of the night and also like I completely destroyed my legs. So, <laughs> that was great. Hugs. <laughs> so basically, like, the next day, I, thankfully, because I was, what I was doing was kind of like an info booth kind of thing, and just giving people info, so I was able to, like, steal a chair and just sit down all day, which really helped. But, like, literally, it was like, standing up, I, I was pretty okay, sitting down, I was fine, but transitioning between the two... And I'm gesturing wildly like anybody can see, but like, <laughs> like transitioning between the two was just like, I couldn't, I would like, f I would almost fall over if I was like trying to bend my knees. <laughs> God. And that, w that was like, <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> oh God, a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, it was... Other than that, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that time I had a panic attack and thought I'd die, I don't know. <laughs> Hug. Oh god, yeah, no, I, I totally understand, Kay, and just like, standing up forever for a couple days is just like, killer. It's the worst. Even with good shoes, it really sucks. It's just like, it's one of those con slash retail things. I remember when I worked in retail a little while, like, you know, I'd be standing up all day and that would just, it was exhausting.
Oof. Yeah. Um, oh. I'm sorry. If anything, Japan is even worse because they're very not. Like, I don't know. Japan is very not, like, not standing walking friendly, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's. It's a die. <laughs> It's very much the culture, but also, like, lack of space and, like, a bunch of other stuff. But, like, it's... It's kind of... It's kind of difficult. <laughs> right. <laughs> I haven't been to a PAX yet, um, but I don't know if it's any in any way comparable to like Anime Expo in terms of like size or like amount of people or things that are going on. I feel like PAX would be more chill. <laughs> X is just. It's just a clusterfuck. There's <laughs> just so much going on. <laughs> oh, everything happens so much. That's amazing. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, it's just that constant pressure. Like, you know, walking can be tiring, but at least it's like you're moving. So being like constantly moving is so much better than even like an hour or two of standing. <laughs> Seriously. It's Yeah, even with my like spine shenanigans like as much as walking all over the place as absolutely a death sentence for me like standing in a single place is even worse it's like i gotta move or it's gonna be bad bye <laughs> yeah i don't know it bodies is weird and our spine sucks and like i don't know our skeletal <sighs> structure sucks, so it's like we were built to like move around a lot more than just standing in one place, I think. And so it's like really killer on our body to do that. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can commiserate, though. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of the time when I'm standing for a while, I kind of like... I either kind of like march slightly in place or like I end up balancing on the sides of my feet for a little bit to take the pressure off like the bottoms of my feet. I don't know if that's good or not, but it helps a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
also that. <laughs> Yeah, just, just changing where the pressure is at all in any way helps a little bit. So sorry for thinking. But yeah, I'm always glad that AX is only once a year. Such a huge ordeal for four days. Even more for marketing. <laughs> yeah, no, I was... I was lucky that we had chairs and I asked and they're just like, yeah, sure, because my company is... Everybody who works at my company is chill. And, like, I think they understood that I completely <laughs> destroyed myself. <laughs> and besides, it wasn't like I was really had to move anywhere. So, there, it was no harm. But yeah, I was like, even at the end of the con when we were cleaning everything, you know, packing up our uh, booth and all that stuff. Um, I'd be like moving stuff and I'd be like, uh oh, I have to like bend over or crouch down to pick up this thing <laughs> and then I'd like struggle for like a minute trying to figure out how to bend <laughs> Hug. I'd like use the counter to just kind of like slowly lower myself down. <laughs> Yeah, and it, it took it took a good week or so for that to finally go away. Huh, <sighs> so sad. Hug. It's just so many stairs to do all at once. Yeah, in a kind of panic state. <laughs> yeah, panic as fast as possible. Just uh, too much. And it, again, and and yet. You know, I wasn't nearly as bad as people who were on the 70th floor when that happened, and there was, like, there were people literally flying down the stairs in a panic because they were on the 70th floor. God. Because there's, like, a nice, of course, there's, like, a nice fancy bar up the, like, the top floor. Things are more calm now. Yeah. I'm about to have a nice, chill week, but... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we felt weren't feeling great. No, yeah, so I, I visited Jenna and we had fun. Yeah. It was nice. I was... Jenna, I just ended up getting sick, which was dumb and bad timing, but... No, I mean, I was super not feeling good myself for other reasons, but still. <laughs> we we still had fun. <laughs> just being together and having a nice chill time, just relaxing in the hotel and watching dumb shit together is always fun. Yep. That's we went to a nice tea party one day. <laughs> <laughs> it was very fancy. It was super fancy, and it was Alice in Wonderland themed. It was rad. Also, she's pouting. <laughs> God, she's so pout. Yeah, 
E. It was like this Alice in Wonderland themed, like, cafe place so you could have, like, afternoon tea stuff. But it was actually a lot of... it was a decent amount of food. <laughs> it was actually... I mean, we did high tea wiggle fingers, like, so we got a whole fancy tower full of food, but it was tasty. <laughs> the tea was really good. We got, like... Six pots of tea because I was oh, ambitious. Yes, so much tea. <laughs> there was so much tea. I just wanted to try all the tea, and then I was like, "Oops, maybe this is too much tea." <laughs> I mean, we drank a lot of that tea, though. I think I drank that entire pot of birthday blend by myself. It was really good. I think I finished the white matcha peach thing. Yeah, because that's one of the ones we took home. Right. Home, back to the hotel, whatever. <laughs> that and the apple cinnamon, I think. But yeah, the place is super freaking cute, and it's like really close to where I live, so it's easy to like go by if I felt like it. <laughs> I do need to pop over there again because I want to keep checking to see if they have the matcha you liked. Ah, oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no pressure, though. Ew, I mean, I go to that area fairly often, so it's not like it's out of the way. <laughs> Patriot's Place has a buttload of other places we tend to go. Mm -hmm. and, like, the Trader Joe's is, like, right down the way next to it, too, so we're usually around there. <laughs> Heckin' pouts. <laughs> I won't be able to kick anybody's ass. Don't tell me to make a less strong deck. <laughs> <laughs> I will absolutely make a power deck to destroy my enemies. <laughs> <laughs> five-year-old with a power deck. It's killing me. It's really good. It's very Asuka. <laughs> it's extremely Asuka. Yeah, basically the scene was like, her older brother is like, you know, uh, cards aren't all about using, like, just like really strong enemies, and she's like, but I don't like losing. <laughs> <laughs> I want to fight! <laughs> been like because a lot of stuff happening and just being kind of tired in general I haven't been arting much so I was just like I really should try to art more and we've been re-watching G GX so and taking like a million screenshots <laughs> so I was like I should do a s screenshot redraw
Oh man, it's funny you should mention Sailor Moon because we started, like, while we were together, we started, like, watching it because, like, I watched Sailor Moon as a kid, but in Japanese and only the episodes that my grandparents sent over on VHS. <laughs> so it was, like, very sparse and very scattered. <laughs> oh, the 90s. <laughs> so it was like, oh, I watched, like, the first bit of, like, the very first season. And then I never saw anything past that. I, I, I saw the fight with Jedi. <laughs> Where he, like, fucking six airplanes on them for some reason. <laughs> like, they're like, oh no, here comes an airplane. <laughs> Shit, I, like, forgot it's been so long. I'm oh, that really <laughs> happened. Damn, right. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, god. Um... So that... Oh, uh, we should watch more. <laughs> so that, and then, like, um... And then, like, I saw, like, parts of the second half of, like, Sailor Moon R. And, like, the final battle of Sailor Moon R. So I was, like, as a kid, I was very confused on the story. All the Sailor Senshi just, like, appeared and existed because, because, in my mind. Because. They, they were just there. <laughs> um, so, like, I have a very tenuous grasp on, like, anything. Um... Even now, honestly, I have a tenuous grasp on, like, anything story-related, so we were like, we should watch it, and we're starting to, like, rewatching it, and it's, oh my god, it, so many memories, but also... So many! It's so 80s, <laughs> 90s. Huh, it's really good, though. Yeah, S2, I had a couple episodes of S, but not very many. The only one I really remember is the one where, like, Naru got kidnapped by, like, a sentient vacuum. <laughs> yeah, the elephant vacuum! <laughs> the elephant vacuum! <laughs> God, that's so sweet! <laughs> I fucking love it so much! <laughs> oh, I'm crying. <laughs> oh... God, yeah, I... <sighs> it's so weird, my memory of Sailor Moon is so all the fuck over the place, because I, like, I watched all of it up to a point, but it was the dub, <laughs> <laughs> and it was the 90s, but I definitely watched all the way up through a point of S, and then they stopped airing it for some reason, and then they suddenly, like, brought it back with new episodes, like, a year after the fact, or two years after the fact, and I missed all of them, and I had no idea what was going on anymore, so I was like, oh, I can't keep up with this, bye. <laughs> <laughs> and just fucking... I, I remember that, like, as a villain, I really liked Creepy Glasses Guy. <laughs> I don't even remember sure. his name, I don't know his deal, I just remember that he was like... Really extra? He's really extra. Clearly, even at a young age, I liked extra. But like... No, it was always... It was always funny when he showed up, because he was so over the top. Uh... But yeah... And then I did fucking rewatch it! You know, my brain wants to save recently, but at this point, I'm like, I guess maybe that was, like, three years ago at this point, maybe more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I rewatched it up through, again, a chunk of S, and then I got distracted, and I stopped, and now I don't remember anything I watched, because I have the memory of a fucking 90-year-old woman. <laughs> Pat. No, I mean, it's a lot, too. <sighs> God, is is Ikuhara, did he he worked on Utena? I'm sorry, I I know nothing of Utena, unfortunately. 
like, the only thing I've ever seen of Adina is when I was in my high school anime club, we watched the movie, and I didn't know anything about anything, and then suddenly they were cars, and that's all I remember. <laughs> No, yeah, I've never seen it, Dana, and I really should someday, but... No, I'd like to see it too. It's just like, yeah, that's my only experience, is watching the movie and remembering that they turn into cars at the end. <laughs> God. <laughs> God. <laughs> God, the... Being in that anime club was... A lot of fun, like I had a lot of good friends there, but also like the the things we chose at the time, it's like, oh my god, it's so 90s, and also like I was so, I was so innocent. <laughs> it's like I didn't understand so a lot of stuff. Like we watched, um, god, what was it? oh my god, I'm totally blanking on the name, but it was so ubiquitously 90s. Excel Saga. Yes! How did I you remember. know? <laughs> I kind of think I remember the story. <laughs> the dating sim bit, yeah. I remember that tale. Oh god, do, dare I even recount it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, whatever, late night stream, I suppose. But yeah, just like... <laughs> yeah, there was like the, the dating sim episode, I guess. I barely remember anything with Dinner anymore, but I, I just, don't like... know if it was... Yeah, I don't remember if it was, like... <sighs> the Like, the whole episode was based on it, or if, like, their boss dude, whatever the fuck his name was, I don't remember much about Excel Saga anymore either. But I just remember there were the two girls, and then there was the guy they worked for, I guess, question mark? Mm -hmm. But yeah, he was playing some weird dating sim, and... That was just that was happening for some reason. Yeah, and then what? Like the the last, the last choice is always put it in. <laughs> and I literally turned to my friend next to me while we were watching it. You know, after school in like some random classroom, and I'm like, "What does put it in mean?" And just like <laughs> nobody would let me live it down. <laughs> <laughs> so mean. <laughs> I don't know. That was just that was just me. I was I was the innocent one TM in the group. <laughs> <laughs> and then you met me and just now we're idiots. <laughs> No, I don't regret anything. But, like, <laughs> 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 I don't know. Times have changed, Kayan. As you know, I won't. Times have changed. <laughs> I won't elaborate, but you know. <laughs> but, God, yeah. That was just my high school year. <laughs> <in a nutshell. laughs> yup. God, I remember a lot of things like that. And like, um, my, my, like, my good friend Tina from high school, um, well, like, you know, I would hang out with her all the time, and I wouldn't remember, like, I, I distinctly remember, like, she's like, oh yeah, I downloaded, like, this, um, RPG Maker game, like, you know, it was made in RPG Maker, and it, it was of, um, oh no, my brain is just, like, not remembering any names tonight, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's that show where there's, if I, this is just going to, like, be any 90s anime, isn't it, if I describe it like this, but it was a show about two guys investigating paranormal shit, <laughs> And, like, it was super one of the targets for, like, you know, everybody's oh. like, Oh my god, Sean and I, and Kya, and, oh. like, you know, um... I think I know the one you mean, shit, what was it called? Um, oh my god, I can't remember this, drive me nuts. 
Crap. It was <laughs> really a fun movie. Yeah, like, it was I so exactly one. It was so late nineties like anime anime. You know? Yeah. Like one no. one was like like I'm pretty sure one of the characters' names was Hisoka. Was it? Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's exactly the one I'm thinking of. Shit. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, right? I did cause um Yula made me watch that. And I did, I do remember liking it at the time. But just, oh my god, what was it called? Oh my god, I'm never gonna remember. I'm, it's, this is gonna be the kind of thing that I like, fucking jolt awake at like... <laughs> Wake up in a cold sweat at like, <laughs> four or five yeah. in the morning and be like, oh my god. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> That or I'm just gonna fucking turn to Google and be like, help computer. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, either way, that was like, okay, the point is, is like, you know, the two main characters, clearly, obviously, they were very, very popular to be like a couple, right? Um, and so she downloaded this random RPG Maker game, and for the most, I was like, oh, hey, I'll play it too, because, the, you know, I, I liked the anime at the time. And, like, you know, for the most part, it was, like, dumb and cutesy and whatever, and it's like, oh, hey, you're trying to make, like, a, you're Hisoka and you're trying to make, like, a, some kind of, like, cake or something for the other, the other guy. And, like, you gotta go out and find the ingredients and blah, 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 and stuff like that, and then it's like, if you, but then it was like, if you do this certain kind of thing, you might get, like, a special thing. And it was literally like, here, let's have, like, like a hidden like <laughs> it it wasn't super honestly i look back on it and it's not the most risque thing <laughs> but it was literally like a sequence where it's like and then suddenly it's like you're simulating like taking off his shirt and like poking him and like it's very <laughs> like sexual and it, it and then it cuts to black and then stuff is implied and like for me at the time i was like <gasps> <laughs> fucking scandalous as hell <laughs> you know <laughs> Now I look back and I'm like, that wasn't much at all, honestly. Like, the discussion shot happens pretty early. <laughs> God! <laughs> so, like, I, I, I laugh looking back on that kind of stuff now, but that was just, <laughs> that was just how I was back then. <laughs> it's just how it be. Those were the days. bugging me. <laughs> I know. I'm I'm still not a googling. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no, I'm just I'm like, all that comes to mind for some reason is like Hikari no go and I'm like, it's not Hikari no go <laughs> And that that's only because recently I mentioned it to a co-worker or something about Hikari no go, but like E God, you know, though, the, the show that we are currently trying to figure out the name of is, like, is actually kind of brutal. God. And, like, I remember actually reading the manga. 
Mm-hmm. And it was gorier. Yeah, I feel like I vaguely remember that something in the plot was super fucked up, and that's why I was like, okay, I think I'm done with this, bye. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a plot line when they end up on, like, a ship, and I, obviously, I don't remember why or what was going on, but there was literally, like, people were slowly, I think people were slowly getting killed, and mm. I literally remember one guy was, like, they found... Uh, it, it was like they they would get killed and they'd have like I think a tarot card number or something put on them or something mm -hmm. I may be misremembering but um like one guy they found was literally like his limbs had been hacked off and his mouth had been sewn shut yikes I remember that, that shot very discreetly in the manga distinctly in the manga and like you know also, little me at the time, not having seen much gore stuff, it was kind of like, oh my god. <laughs> but, yeah. Back on that RPG Maker, whatever fan made thing, though, and I was, I, I go back and I think, like, oh, that was actually pretty well made. <laughs> <laughs> thinking just about dojin stuff now and I'm thinking about when Matt and I were in Japan last year and this is around the time when I was you know we just got into choice shipping and very very obsessed with choice shipping and I was like there's probably no way in hell but I wonder if there's like any sort of like dojins about any of the pairs in our you know OT3 <laughs> 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 and we happen to be at the animate that's on, um, uh, oh my god, Ultimate, uh, Ultimate Road, you know, that mm -hmm. area. So it's like, it, it's such a, it's such a different feeling animate. It's like, suddenly everything is targeted more towards, like, you know, women instead mm -hmm. of, like, men. And it's such a weird feeling, you know? <laughs> it's such a weird feeling to have, like, anime shit directed towards you instead of the male gaze. Like, I can't even describe. It's so weird. <laughs> um, but yeah, we went there and literally there, you know, there was, like, here's, here's the floor where there's all a bunch of, like, dojin stuff. And then... <laughs> <laughs> Matt was like, he could go there and like look, and I was like, they're probably like seriously not gonna have anything I'm interested in. But we went on the <laughs> floor anyway. And, like, I kind of looked around really like skittishly for a while before I'm like, mm, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wreck this boy. <laughs> <laughs> like we we looked around in the area where there. If there were any, there would be, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Dojins, but I think, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! so, like... It's, it's, like, not the po most popular thing for Dojin stuff at this point, you know? Mm -hmm. So, there's, like, it, there didn't seem to be really anything, and I'm like, that's, uh, I'll, I'll just leave it at that, bye, because it's just, like... If you just looked the wrong way, you would see something, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yup. <laughs> oh my god. Next 
time just for me as the filter. <laughs> <laughs> No, the okay, and it was just, it was really fascinating, because it was just so, so much, like, more, like, merch that I was interested in, <laughs> and it's like, question marks? <laughs> Ultimate, Ultimate Road, that area was very interesting. I did get... There's a couple areas we hit, and I got like a ton of just like random Yu-Gi-Oh! keychain and other stuff, and I was just so incredibly sated. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> thank the stars! <laughs> Bless. Which I still need to either arrange on a corkboard or like put in a Nita bag or something. <laughs> <laughs> so Google is not helping. I do not have the fucking keywords to look for this thing correctly, Sob. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. It's very difficult because, you know, pair of two guys doing shit was is just so ubiquitous. Yes. <laughs> 90s anime shonen eye bait. Yeah, just like, yeah, that's gonna be everything. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Did you mean tactics? Did you mean loveless? Did you mean gravitation? <laughs> Did you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking whiz cruise and shit. Fucking hell. Man, what crosses four whole guys doing things? God. <laughs> you, just, you just look back at White Cross and you're like, oof. <laughs> oof. This was a thing and we watched it. It's funny because at the time, like, I, I watched the whole thing in like two days with a friend on their couch. And so my, my memory of it is extremely vague. Um, yeah, same. I don't remember a damn thing. It's like I remembered enough, but it was like, <laughs> like towards the end, my friend was like, had fallen asleep on the couch while we were finishing watching it too. Good. <laughs> it's like it's just such a weird anomaly thing because it was totally put together by like Koyasan and the others is like a way to promote themselves as like voice actors but who the heck knows wrote the script because it's not good <laughs> <sighs> it's like sure it like them being voice actors and being cool like having like voicing the stuff in the show is neat and they're good voice actors. I mean, Sekisan is in there too. Um, I think, I think Yusakoji's in that one too, was it? Um, Fuguki. <laughs> Wasn't it? Shit. I no, I have don't to know. Hang on. <laughs> now I'm looking that up. Oh my god, Descendants of Darkness, I found it. Descendants of Darkness? That doesn't sound familiar to uh, me. Fucking Yami no Matsue was the other the... Fucking Yami no Matsue! Oh my god! <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry, did I just astral project you back to the year 2000? You because did. that's when it was. You did, you absolutely did. Oh, oh my so, god. <laughs> Hisoka was absolutely the key to unraveling that fucking mystery. <laughs> it's like, I don't remember anything except Hiei, and he was like, sorry, Hiei. Oh my god, Hisoka, and he's like the most super popularist character ever from that, so. And they have a vague recollection of him kind of being a little shit. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, okay, I feel better. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But also, oh no. <laughs> Jenna, you should you should post the picture of it in, in chat. <laughs> God. God, yeah, yeah, I mean let's say I hate that I'm curious about rewatching that. Just because my memory's so vague of it. Like I'd watch it with you. <laughs> like, was it actually any good? Like I don't I... remember. <laughs> I don't remember any of it. I just remember that the fucking like older dude out of the two is like the samped one. <laughs> yep, yep, he was the samped one. The other one That's was all the, I remembered. It was like the grumpy kind of, you know, little shit sass one. Sindere. <laughs> Basically. It was just so... Before we had a term for it. <laughs> it was just so that trope stuff. <laughs> God. But yeah, fucking god, because the problem I was having while I was trying to find it, like I only had a name, and I was like, "Son of a fuck," <laughs> <laughs> and all the all the results I was getting was like Hunter X Hunter, and I'm like, I don't want this. That's not what I'm looking for. <laughs> Definitely not Hunter X Hunter. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and then I was like, you know what, F it, I'm gonna look for like something really stupid, like, list of fucking anime characters named Hisuka, whatever, fuck it, you know? <laughs> Still got Hunter x Hunter, but then it took me to this fucking thing where it's like, hey, search by character, and I typed it in, and, like, the thumb- like, one thumbnail just fucking, like, astral projected me, and I'm like, M. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Yup. It's you. <laughs> God. It's him. He's so come out so No, there's fucking <laughs> just calling characters by the name of the thing that they're from will never stop being funny. <laughs> also, okay, I looked it up and no, it was not. It's not Isa Koji. It's um Hiroyuki. <laughs> I know he was a couple other things I might remember him doing, but I don't remember well what he did. Either way, it was like, yeah, it was like a huge... It was like a group of four of like the big, hot voice actors, right? So you had like Seki Tomokazu, you had Koya-san, you had Miki Shinichiro, who has done a lot of stuff. I think. I think the one he's most well known for is maybe Duo. Let me check that before I stick my foot in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he's done a lot of shit, though. Um. What has he? Oops, maybe I'm wrong. Who is he? I know, I know he's really well known. <sighs> I've heard him in a lot of stuff. I just don't, can't remember what stuff at the moment. Was it his an initial D? Me. Who the heck was talking to me again? I don't remember. Oh, wait, is he? Right, frickin'. He's James. He's Japanese James. That's what he's most <laughs> well known for. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so like, those three and then the other guy. They, they were all like really big at the time. And then it was also like, to promote their like songs and stuff like that too. <laughs> mm. Which they could all sing well, so it's just like really funny because like, 
it's like, oh yeah, they, they're they cool, and it's, on paper, it was cool, but then, like, the actual, like, show kind of sucked, and, <laughs> and the, the animation was pretty bad. Pretty bad. <laughs> it was pretty bad. <laughs> God. God, yeah. There's some part of me that wants to rewatch all like the old, like those those anime that I remember from like my high school, middle school years. But like, it's so hazy now that I'm like, was it actually good? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I feel like if I watch Gravitation now, I would be uncomfortable, TM. <laughs> honestly, honestly. Because <laughs> I feel like I remember, like, I don't remember what's his face, but, like. <laughs> no, I'm bad at names, and it's like, yeah, I remember I really enjoyed it back in the day, but thinking back on it, I'm like, mmm, there were a lot of uncomfortable tropes, and I don't think I'd be okay with it now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, the, the, the other guy, this, I'm, I believe he was older, too. Yeah, like the, that's always how it is with those ones. It's just, like, yeah, fucking... he was, like, uncomfortably, like, aggressive and, like, pushy, if I remember, and a jerk. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Always a jerk. And just be nice characters in a fucking relationship. They all gotta be dicks or whatever. Fuck this. This is why I like hearing on nice. 